Okay. This one here, we have 8x is second power plus 7x minus 8 equals 0. So there would be two answers to this, x second and x. So you'd have to use your factoring properties, okay? So there's two answers, so we're at 0, but then something's going to come up for the first time here. So it's a trinomial, so it would be GCF and T table. So no x, no negative. 8 and 7 are just in the first row for the GCF. Then we run into a little dicey situation. 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. Okay, so it would be a mismatch. It would be a positive negative. And we have to add, if this is possible to put in parentheses, these factors have to add to positive 7. So 64 divided by 1, eight, that's 1 and 64. No. 64 divided by 2 is 32. Don't think so. 64 divided by 3 is a decimal, so that doesn't work. 64 divided by 4 is 16. Now that adds a negative 12, that's still y to the mark. 5 is a decimal, 6 is a decimal, 7 is a decimal, 8 and 8. Here's a problem. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. Now, you are now too narrow to ever add to 7. So you added these, that's too wide. That's negative 63, that's wide of 7. Negative 32 is wide. Negative 12, when I added these, is wide. Now it's 0. That's not too wide, it's too narrow. Okay. So if it's too narrow, you're never going to get back to be able to, be able to add to 7. So this is a prime expression. So how do we solve the equation? Now you're going to need to learn some skills before I really teach you the way to solve it. Okay. Now you don't, don't sit there and say, what's the point of this? I'm trying to make it so it's a little bit easier for you when we go to do it. Okay. Your job here is to evaluate this expression. Okay, we have negative 10 plus and minus, and we have this wacky square root here. And there's a bunch of crap in the square root. Now, bottom, we have 2 times 2. So you're going to make your fraction. You're going to put a plus minus closer to the left, and you're going to put negative 10 in front. Now, on bottom, you are going to take 2 times 2, and that's 4. Now, you're going to make your square root, okay? And you're going to figure out what goes inside this square root, okay? So here's how you decide what goes inside. You have a minus right there. See that minus I circled, put that there. Now you have two products to find off the side. You got 10 to the second, which means 10 times itself. And then you have 4 times 2 times 3. So 10 times 10 is 100. That goes in front of the minus because that's where 10 to the second was at. Then 4 times 2 times 3 is going to be 8, and then 24. So inside this, that's 100 minus 24. So that's 76 when you minus, but it's a square root of 76. Now you got to find the square root. Now remember, a square root could be positive or negative. So I find the square root of 76. So you're going to round that to 8.72. If you round it to 8.71, whatever. Okay. So you go after the plus minus and you put 8.72. Now you're going to take negative 10 plus 8.72. You're going to click equals. You click equals, so that's what negative 10 plus 8.72 was. Then you're going to hit divided by 4. Okay, you add, you got to hit equals first, then divide by 4. You can't do them at the same time. So negative 0 0.32, comma. And now you're going to get another answer because now you have to take negative 10 and subtract 8.72. Click equals, then divide by 4. Negative 4.68. Okay, circle those. Next problem. It, it's, it becomes a robotic process. You have 40 in front. On bottom, 2 times 4 is 8. Now I make a square root with that minus sign dead center. 
So in front of the minus, we have negative 40 to the second power. That means negative 40 times negative 40. Okay? And then behind the minus, we have 4 times 2 times negative 4. Negative 40 times negative 40 is positive 1,600. And then 4 times 2 times negative 4 is going to be negative 32. So in front of the minus, you got 1,600. Then after it, you have negative 32. So then you're going to make that, when you're minusing a negative number, you need to make it addition of the positive. Okay. So I take 1,600. This time it will be plus 32, because behind the minus, when you put a negative, it goes to plus plus. So 1,632. Then positive, negative, and then I find the square root of 1,632. I got 40.40. 40. 40. 39 would round to 40. If you keep it 40.39, I don't really care. Okay, now I need two answers. We take the 40 and we plus 40.40. You got to click equals before you divide by 8. So 10.05, I'm just going to write the answers over here, comma, and then 40 minus 40.40. .40. Click equals and then divide by 8. Negative 0 0.05. That's pretty much all you do on this assignment. Is evaluate that expression. There's a reason why you're doing it. You have to wait later. Okay. Okay, so first off, plus minus, you put the 80 in the front. On bottom, 2 times 5, that's 10. Now put that minus dead center of the square root. So in front of it, you got to find evaluate negative 80 to the second power. So negative 80 times negative 80. And then after the minus, you have 4, 5, and 2 multiplication. So in negative 80 times negative 80 is 6,400. And then 4 times 5 is 20 times 2 is 40. So 6,400 and then 40. So 6,400 minus 40 is 6,360. Now you find what the square root of that is. Okay, so second square root, 6360. 79.75. And that's what you put down here so you can do the rest of the math. So you take 80 plus 79.75, click equals, and then divide by 10. So 15.98. Then 80 minus 79.75 divided by 10 is 0 0.03. I'm rounded. Now, plus minus, there's nothing new. 5. 2 times 1 on the bottom is 2. Then negative 5 to the second, that's negative 5 times negative 5. Then after the minus, 4 times 1 times negative 14. 25. And negative 56. Okay, so 25 is before the minus, and then negative 56 is after, but that minus negative, 25 plus 56 is going to be 81, okay? Okay, the square root of 81 is actually a perfect square. It's 9, okay? That's okay. So you put 9. So we're going to take 5 plus 9, 14, then divide by 2, that's 7. Then we'll be taking 5 minus 9, dividing by 2, that's negative 2. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a shorter way to get the answer. Now that I showed you the long way, I'm going to teach you how to maybe go quicker. So you have negative 2 in front, 2 times 2 on the bottom is 4. Make a square root, and then punch in the inside all together, but don't hit the square root key. 
Okay, I don't want you doing that. You go parentheses 2, second power. The second power is next to the 7. And then hit the subtraction key. And then parentheses 4, close parentheses. Parentheses 2, close parentheses. Parentheses negative 12, close parentheses. So it's 100. You can just put 100 there and then find the square root of 100 and put that here. So the square root of 100 is 10. Okay. So I would take negative 2 plus 10, divide by 4. And you get 2. Then I would take negative 2 minus 10, divide by 4, and I get negative 3. Okay, let's do it the quick way. Plus minus, so you have a 3 in front, 2 times 2 on the bottom is 4. You have to do those two steps right away. Now you make the square root, that's positive or negative. Now to find what the square root comes of, just enter that into the calculator. Not with the square root. You don't do the square root until you find out what's inside of it. Okay, so 49. Square root of 49 is 7. Okay, so it's 7. Then 3 plus 7 is 10. Divided by 4 is 2.5. Three minus seven is negative four, then divide by four is negative one. Got it. Okay, let's keep her rolling. So you have negative four in front. The product of two and one on the bottom is two. Now enter the inside of that in. Okay. And you get 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So it's 2. So negative 4 plus 2, click equals, divide by 2, that's negative 1. Negative 4 minus 2, click equals, divide by 2, that's negative 3. So negative 3. 2 times 2 is 4, and the inside, okay, 3 to the second, minus 4, 1, negative 20, so I got 89, that's going to be irrational, it's still okay to put, so the square root of 89 is 9.43. Okay, so I take negative 3 plus 9.43 equals, divide by 4, 1.61. And you take negative 3 minus 9.43, click equals, divide by 4, negative 3.11.